Hey guys, it's Queen DJ, and in today's video, I will be reacting reading to episode 4 of season 2 of Pop Team Epics. Let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Right. Oh, damn. <laughs> really? <laughs> Nah, she's still there. Oh, you did. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Alright, so, um, yesterday, or by the time y'all see this, it'll be, tom it'll be Monday. So, Saturday, when this episode came out, I was like, well, let me go ahead and see who the care, like, the sayings are for this week. Well, not only do we have two pretty cures from two different seasons in this show, being the female characters, um, their most credible roles are Kiloa and Gon from Hunter x Hunter. And I honestly, I, like, here, here's my thing. So when I looked up for, um, Paco, and when I saw that it was Gon, something told me it was going to be Kiloa with, <laughs> with them because they're like this, and it makes the most sense. The guys, um, they didn't have a wiki for them. So honestly, I won't know until I hear their voices. But I love the fact it, it's not only Kiloa and Gon, it's Cure Princess from um, Happiness Charge. And then uh, Cure Lemonade, who was also in JoJo Stone Ocean. And then going back to Cure Lemonade, yes, Pretty Cure 5. Honestly, that's amazing. <laughs> Just once again, you never really know who the fuck is going to be in this show. Last week we had Jujutsu Kaisen, and now this week we have Pretty Cure. Jujutsu Kaisen and Pokemon and Pretty Cure. Where are we going with show? <laughs> Train battle? Oh. That looks nice. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Are y'all fucking kidding me? I'm trying to think of what this Easter egg is, and I literally have nothing. It gives me kind of Yu-Gi-Oh vibes-ish in a way, but not really. That or like Squid Game. Damn! Damn! <laughs> Either Squid Game or um, Alice in Borderland. Oh, damn. Oh, it's a draw. What if they get up at the same time? Are we in Kyoto already? What the? Popco! Popco!
Damn, they really recorded an old man crying. That's so mean. You gonna become Hokage? <laughs> Hokage? <laughs> She didn't do anything. <laughs> Just toss it. <laughs> oh, oh sh <laughs> it does. Shit does happen. Uh, it's time! The greatest BL! <laughs> mm -hmm, that's all you hear. Going in Kilowa. Okay. <laughs> huh? None of Oh, she going super saiyan. <laughs> Oh my god. Baby me. God. 
Bruh, that face, that face! <laughs> they glitched out again. Let's not again. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Yes, the reason you were invited is because of Hunter x Hunter. Yeah. It makes you wonder whenever that show is ever really going to come back. I mean, you know, hey, I think as of what? Today, because it's still Sunday for me. That manga is officially returning. So, congratulations to you guys as someone who also, I, I, well, I love Yu Yu Hakusho a little bit more because I was more invested. I still have seen Hunter x Hunter, but maybe one day I'll rewatch it. You did. Okay, so only hearing Popko's voice, I literally cannot think of who it is. It makes me want to go back and look on my phone, but I just want to hear their voice to see how they do. I'm doing going and kill. You know who I do want to see in this, but because of the fact is we do two females and the two males, it, it wouldn't happen. It would be Nana Mizuki and uh, Mamoru because, you know, they're really good best friends and anything that they're in together, it's always fucking hilarious. But because of the fact is it's two females voicing Popko and Peekany, Pe Peepa Me, Peepa Me, there we go, and then there's two males, so it can't happen, which sucks. So if it wasn't um, Nana Mizuki, I would say Jun Fuk uh, Fuki Fukiyama. I think that's how his name. So to give me my Persona Five, you know, reunion, they could do Aoi Yuki with Nana Mizuki to do pers um, not pers not only Persona but Symphony Gear. That would be a dream. Or they can add Nana Mizuki and Aoi Yuki not only for the Symphony Gear but for the Pretty Cure S Ness for it. If they wanted to, I mean, a girl would love that. I'm just Excuse me. Sorry, that is just takes you out. I love how she's like, Yes, we're gonna push that seat back. <laughs> Not the ice cream. Sometimes, what? <laughs> that is probably the most. Well, Popsy 
Steve Epic is random and I love it, but that is probably the most random thing for today's episode. <laughs> oh, God. No, okay, with the Dr. Yellow thing, what the freak is that referencing to? See, this is why, like, uh, I, I got two more shows to record after this, but, like, probably while everything is editing and I get ready to, you know, make my dinner and everything, definitely gonna look up the Easter eggs for this. Because, <laughs> honestly, I also was thinking that the train battle was referenced to that one Brad Pitt movie that came out, like, I think this month, either this month or last month. But it's like, how the fuck can you reference that when that movie just came out, you know? I mean, you can. You really can reference, like, early ass movies. I mean, movies that came out, like, a month or two ago. Which is freaking nuts, by the way. To be continued. Oh, we didn't say anything that time. Nice. And now you're really a gem. Mm hmm. Like, but I didn't do anything. <laughs> mm hmm. Toss it. And toss it, even though we're all gonna die. <laughs> well, yeah. A what? Uh, oh, the, the, yeah. Mm -hmm. Paco. Pee me. Paco. P. 
baby me? <laughs> I love that I'm already laughing. <laughs> Oh god. Uh, 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 uh. Oh god, I'm dying. <laughs> oh <my> god. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh my god. I felt like this is something Ed Ed and Nettie would do. If any of y'all know what Ed Ed and Nettie is. <laughs> I can see Ed. You know his dumbass he would do. <laughs> Ed and Eddie. Double D would be over here like. What y'all doing? <laughs> he might. Like Double D might join in the fun. But. <laughs> episode I, I loved it. Uh, it it's not my uh oh oh we're bringing that back <laughs> beep 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 X, X, are we, uh, yeah. Are we talking about the thing that rhymes with corn? I didn't even know what else to say about this. Okay. Th this was good. I still think last week's episode by far was the best. Even though we are, we're technically by this Saturday, we'll be at the halfway point of the show, which is nuts to think about because it, this season just really started and we're now at the halfway point by next week. But yes, loved Kilo and Gon. Very much miss them at interacting together. I mean, you know, with, with the fact that they were both in Pretty Cure and such, and we got the Pretty Cure All-Star movies, you got to see those two interact, but when, it, it's kind of, and I think for people who really do love Hunter x Hunter a lot, um, everybody felt that nostalgia in this episode for the first half, and wished that, you know, for those fans, we could, they could get something. And I hope one day that they do, because, I mean, if, you know, the, uh, Okay, the woman who married the person who created the Yu Yu Hakusho. If Miss <laughs> Sailor Moon can't get a fucking revival and there was like, what, talks that Yu Yu, Yu Hakusho was getting something in the works, then Hunter x Hunter could get something that can tell the whole freaking story up until where he's continuing as of now. I'm not really sure about that, but you know, you never really know what the heck could happen, honestly, like dead ass. But honestly, this episode was good. <laughs> Probably maybe my second or third favorite. I, I might have to wait until I see the second half of the show to see who all is going to star in it. Because, you know, my favorite thing is not only to see the episode and see how random and crazy it's going to get. It's the seiyus. And seeing who, trying to guess who is in the damn show every single week. That's the best thing and the highlight of watching this show. Because I love it so damn much. And like I said, the fucking randomness. One day... And I hope we get to see it in the second half. I need a Kingdom Hearts reference. So freaking bad. You gave me my Final Fantasy with the Chocobo. Now fucking give me Kingdom Hearts. That might be a little too hard because you know Disney. 
But you can put Sora, Riku, and Kairi. Or even Roxas, Shion, and Axel. You can put all Organization 13. Come on now, you can do it. Just do it. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction for you towards episode four. Um, <laughs> well, we're really on episode four. I thought it was six. I mean, five. Episode four of season two of Pop Team Epic. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all either next Saturday or Sunday for episode five. Bye, guys.